I've been a member of Dignity and Dying since well before I was diagnosed with cancer, and I've been a believer in the principles of a dignified assisted death since my early teens. In 2009, I was diagnosed with grade 3 C ovarian cancer, and it was a terrible shock because I'm reasonably healthy for my age, and I had expected to go on, as we all do. This cancer comes back on a regular basis. I've, this is my third incidence. It's my second relapse. I'm currently having weekly chemotherapy, which I'm tolerating quite well. But I'm now, I think next week is week 14, and exhaustion is beginning to, to kick in. Uh, I do find it very tiring. But I know that eventually there will be pain and it will be a lot of pain. Now, pain can be controlled up to a, a certain degree, but I don't want to spend the last, the end of my days hyped up on morphine so that I don't recognise anybody. But this has focused my mind. I live alone. I'm very fiercely independent. I, I, I do not like being looked after in any sense of the word. And no matter how kind caring or whatever people are they're not me and I want to have control of the end of my life um, I also I have two children adults and two grandchildren and I don't want them to be put in a, an invidious situation of having to make decisions on my behalf I'm actually taking part in intervention in a legal case because I want clarification and support for my doctor as to what he can and cannot discuss with me, never mind do to help me. Uh, it is most important that he should be clear that he isn't breaking the law if he discusses with me what the options are. I'm all for extending life, but there's a very big difference between extending life and postponing death. And I do not want at the end just to be kept alive because it's possible. I want to be able to go with dignity in comfort and a time of my choosing when I feel that I've had enough. I'm compass mentis, I've got a terminal condition and I want to choose when I've had enough. I don't want somebody else to tell me that I can go on a bit longer because that isn't living, that's just putting off the inevitable.